So when we talk about smartwatches, people usually think of Galaxy watches or Fitbits or Apple watches, but what most people don't talk about, and one of my favorite styles, is actually the hybrid smartwatch. And unfortunately, it's been a little while since we've seen any new ones. We had some from Withings maybe a year and a half ago, we had some from Garmin and from Fossil about two years ago, but since then it's been pretty quiet. Until now, Garmin just came out with the brand new VivoMove Sport, which much like the Apple Watch SE or the Samsung Galaxy FE, this Garmin VivoMove Sport is an affordable gateway into the Garmin ecosystem, while also giving you unparalleled health analytics, impressive style, and a really good battery life at a surprisingly low price, especially for something from Garmin. Like, we know that Garmin just launched their Phoenix 7 series that were upwards of like $1,100, so this coming in at about 10% of that is really impressive. So I'll have a link in the description to the latest price for this, but again, this is selling for under $200, which is really impressive because almost any other hybrid watch out there is $350 or more, with the exception of the Fossil, uh, which was about $200. Still, this undercutting that one, I think is really impressive. And for anybody who is really looking for a health-focused watch, it also looks really, really nice. Like, the, you know, the Fossil was nice, but the E-Ink, like it had a specific style. This one's a lot more subtle, and I think more people who are interested in health and style would wear this every day to work or whatever you might be doing, and it's a lot more subtle. So in this video, I'll dive into what this watch is really all about, what it has, what it does, how accurate it is, and as far as features go, I think you might be really surprised how much Garmin was actually able to put in such an unexpected little watch like this. So I wanna start off with the physical tour, but for reference, this is a 40 millimeter watch. So a little bit on the smaller side, personally, I like smaller watches anyway, a little bit more subtle, and for this style, I think that's absolutely perfect. There are four different colors, as you can see right here. The brown one, I think, looks really nice, and you can also replace the straps on any one of these. It comes with a silicone strap, again, something they did to cut the cost, um, but it's something that, like I said, you can easily replace it with a leather one or whatever you want. They're just a basic standard 20 millimeter strap. You can find them on Amazon, and I'll link a couple in the description as well. The body is all plastic, so that's something they did to make it a little cheaper, but with that, you get a lighter watch that is also very durable as well. You, of course, have a touchscreen display on the front, which is underneath the hands, which you can see right here are kind of a gold color. They look really nice. And, and so when you're looking at this watch and the display is off, you, you really can't tell that there is a display there at all. But as soon as you double tap it or if you lift your wrist to wake it, uh, you'll actually see that we have a little OLED display back there and it's showing us, like it's a touch screen, you can swipe back and forth, you can tap and hold. We'll talk about all the features with that in just a second. But flipping over to the back, this is where a lot of the magic actually happens. We have a Garmin health sensor on here that's going to be detecting your heart rate, your blood oxygen, your stress levels, all types of things, like really a lot of health analytics that I'll dive into later, as well as our charger on the bottom. This has a five-day battery life, which anybody who knows anything about Apple Watches or Galaxy Watches, you know that you're kind of lucky if you're getting two days with those. So five should get you through a work week, no problem. And you know, depending on how much you use this, it might last a little longer or a little bit less. And additionally, once it actually dies, the analog hands last another day. So if you're traveling and it dies, you still have a watch that actually works. And tying into that, something I've always really liked about hybrid watches is that if the watch does die, you don't just have a black screen on your wrist. Instead, you actually have something that, even if it's the wrong time, in my opinion, having hands on a watch looks better than, than just a black screen when the watch is dead. So that's kind of an edge case that most people don't hopefully face, but it's something that I've faced many times and I really appreciate that. So I wanna talk about what features this actually has, but I think the easiest way to do that is just to show you the interface because it's really quite different from most other watches out there. So you can choose your little watch face Right here I have a kind of a widget that shows me the time, the date, and a couple analytics about my health. Uh, and that turns on when you either, either lift to wake or if you double tap the watch. You can then swipe left and right and it circles through kind of a rotation here. And you can choose what's showing you here. So I have my steps, obviously it has a pedometer, how many active minutes I've had this week, my body battery, which Garmin has always done. And, and it's something that I really do like. The body battery is a great way to kind of have an indicator, like a, a single number to tell you how you're doing. Uh, and I know you might say like, oh, I can, I can tell how I'm doing. Well, it can sometimes be a good indicator if it's lower than you expect. Maybe you didn't sleep as well as you realized. Maybe you're coming down with the cold. Like there's a lot of reasons that it would be different and having a single indicator, I think is really nice. We also have heart rate on here. We've got your, your respiration. So how many breaths per minute you're taking. Uh, we've got music controls, which is really impressive to have on such a small device like this. 
We've got your weather, which of course is using your phone. You also have your calendar and you have notifications. And the notifications work for phone calls you can answer or reject, or you're getting notifications from text messages or Signal or a bunch of other apps as well. Now, that's all I have in this rotation here, but there are some other ones, for example, female health tracking, hydration, things like that. And there are some that are not actually shown right there, one of them being the automatic activity tracking. So if you just start walking or running, you don't have to worry about you know doing anything on here. It'll just start tracking after one minute or 10 minutes, depending on how you set it within the Garmin app. Something that I really appreciate on something that has so few controls right here, just a small little touchscreen, obviously no buttons. That's a great feature. Additionally, you can actually get into setting any workout you want because if you just tap and hold it, you'll see that we have another set of functions here. One of them, the first one being uh, the workout. So if you tap on that, you can see I have several different workouts here, including walking, running, uh, like a little stair stepper thing. We've got biking, we've got lifting, yoga, breathe, uh, breathing exercises, swimming. This is rated for five atmospheres of water resistance, by the way. And you have other workouts as well. So if I go back, we can swipe through this and you have a lot of other things in here, like even more functionality. One of them, or the next one is really related to your heart. And if you tap on that, you've got three sub things there. You've got your pulse ox, uh, you've got your VO2 max, Going back, we can go to the next thing, which is timer or stopwatch. You have timers and stopwatches on here, as well as alarms. It'll just kind of vibrate. Uh, although this doesn't have any kind of beeper, it does have a haptic motor in there. It vibrates. It's not the best haptics out there, but it'll definitely notify you when something's done. It's a good way to interact with this and let you know like when a timer's up or, or just in general, when you get a notification, it'll do the same for that. So if we tap and hold again, we get back to that menu and we can swipe over and you've got a couple other things related to your phone and some settings. And within settings, there are a ton of settings you can adjust on here or on your phone, including do not disturb. Uh, you can adjust the time, make sure the hands are, like the motor's actually setting the hands where it belongs uh, and all types of things like that, including an emergency contact, which again is a hidden feature on here. So if you fall or if you're running outside and, and something happens and, and you need to contact your emergency contact, this is something I think Garmin does really, really well. With this, all you have to do is tap it a bunch of times. I think it's like five times. And then as long as your phone is nearby, so in your pocket or somehow connected by Bluetooth, it will call or it'll notify your emergency contact, send them your location and just let them know that you need help. This is especially useful, not just if you're outside and you fall, maybe you're mountain biking or something, but but I, I could also see this being helpful for any elderly friends or family. If you have them wearing this, maybe they don't have their phone in their pocket at all times, but everyone is very likely to have their watch on the wrist at all times. And so if they fall, they could just tap it a bunch of times, notify you, and you can go and check in on your parents or grandparents or whoever it might be. Now, unfortunately, this device does not have NFC for payments. That's something we did see on the previous Vivo Move, or the Vivo Move Style and the Lux from Garmin. Those were over $350, so it's no surprise that they kind of cut that out of this. Another thing we don't have here that we really never see on, on hybrid watches, and that's GPS, but you do have connected GPS. If you are doing any workout and your phone is nearby, this will use your phone's GPS, and so you still have all of that data in your workout. And in addition to the lack of NFC payments and the different build materials, this has a couple other differences from the more expensive Vivo Move Style and Lux that came out about two years ago. Really the main difference is going to be the display. No longer do we have the display on the top and bottom. Instead, it's just the bottom, so it's a little bit smaller and it doesn't have color either. Now I mentioned in the beginning of this video that this watch was kind of an affordable entry to the Garmin ecosystem. And really what you're getting with this, one of the biggest benefits is the Garmin app. Garmin, in my opinion, has probably the best app for tracking any type of more detailed health analytics. So not only do they have this dashboard that shows you, you know, your heart rate, your intensity minutes, your steps and things like that in a very digestible way. And of course you can go into workouts and find out whatever you want. But Garmin gets as advanced as you want. You can export uh, files from your workout and compare with other things. You can have different devices connected to this for heart rate or, or for GPS or whatever it might be. Like Garmin does a really good job of being a very scalable platform. Additionally, if you go over to more, you can go and dive into anything you want. If you just go into health and performance, for example, Garmin has a lot of stuff, not much more than just tracking your stress or, or your breathing. They can actually dive into things like your fitness age. You can see based on how much you work out and how difficult your workouts are. So the Garmin app, I think, in my opinion, is one of the biggest benefits of getting this watch. And I think for a lot of people, this really might be a fantastic buy. Of course, there are some drawbacks. We'll talk about what I like in a second, but for 
first mentioning what those drawbacks are. This doesn't have like the biggest display, obviously, so you're a little bit limited on that. It doesn't have NFC payments, and the battery life, although five days is great, there are other hybrid watches that get seven days, 10 days, even up as 30, as much as 30 days. And so the battery life on this is not the best in the category of hybrid watches. But what I really like about this is that it's an incredibly lightweight watch. It's a lot more affordable than most other hybrids out there. And it has a really, really nice style while also giving you some very impressive analytics in their, uh, essentially in the Garmin ecosystem. As Garmin has always done, it's very accurate with the heart rate. And of course, GPS is gonna be dependent on whatever phone you're using. But it's something that, I really like this watch. Overall, I'm happy to see Garmin come back and make another hybrid watch. I hope other companies do the same because as I said, I've always been a huge fan of hybrid watches. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this watch. As always, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.